With this um, question, Zara, I, uh, I cheat a little bit in that. I mean, the original question is I put it in um, factor form. So you've got uh, the graph crossing at uh, negative 3 and 0.5. And so I put that in factor, uh, factor form, and, and I found that the stretch was 2. Um, and so here's the equation. So then what I do, because if I'm going to translate something, I actually want to put it in vertex form because it's just so much easier. You can do it with this. But what I do is I stick that equation into my calculator, and I draw it so that I can see the vertex. And then I find use G solve to find the vertex, which is at one negative one point two five and negative six point one two five. And now that means that the equation in vertex form is like this: x plus one point two five squared. Minus, minus uh, 6.125, is that right? So let's just check. So if the vertex is there, then this is vertex form, right? So it's moved to the left, 1.25, and it's moved down, 6.125, yep. Okay, so that's vertex form. Now, if I'm going to move the graph A units to the right, Right? That's going to be opposite to what goes in the equation. So if I take this graph and I move it to the right by A units, that means that I'm going to apply that inside there to the 1.25. So that takes the vertex that's at negative 1.25 and it moves it to the right by A and up B. So that becomes the equation. And then, um, and then what, what they did was, where's the vertex? Well, this, that is the vertex, right? That's what the vertex is going to be, 1.25 minus A. And that's, um, if you look at your, uh, if you look at the answer to this, I think, blah, 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 where it is. Negative 1.25 plus A is the vertex. And they've done a lot of different things, but this is how you can answer the question.